Hey everybody and welcome back to Riku Naceland. My name's Jules and we're playing the Swords of Ditto again. I'm still hungry as hell because I didn't want to eat, instead I just wanted to keep playing because I want to be done with this dungeon. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick recording session of two episodes, maybe three. I thought maybe one would even be enough. Now I'm at five, I think, and the thing is uh, I really want to play until we die or until this run is run. This run is over. Which means, uh, yeah, this might take another couple of episodes, depending on how long this dungeon is gonna be, depending on how strong we- Whoa, yeah, depending on how much I fail, busy. That guy is pretty strong, which is okay, because he's level 5, but he's also pretty annoying. Ah, oh, we needed a crit, but now it's not important anymore. Of course, the last hit is gonna be a crit. Hit. Shit. Hit. And the spawner is down, poisoning his fellow, but he doesn't care about the poisoning, of course, because it's his type of, I don't know how you call it, his uh, type of element, his, his element, yeah, it's his element in a way. Ooh, with a crit, nice! I hate pukers, I still hate those pukers. Ooh, and here we go for the new king. All the new kings. Now this one is the king. I really don't know what the crown means. Means if they have better loot or give more XP or just look fancier. I, I really don't know. I want to get that. Ah, crap! Didn't get it. Mm, this was the only option, right? Yes, it was. But now we have a couple of more options. Can we shoot from here? Yes, we can. Ooh, of course we dropped some reds by doing this. Okay, okay. We have two things to do here. Number one is this. Number two is this. But what I actually meant was we have to use a key on the upper door and we have to open this door by pressing the buttons. Uh, so let's go through this door first because we can always get back for the other one and I think this one's gonna be a dead end first. I really thought so, but maybe it's not. Um, since we have some snacks left, let's just eat a chocolate bar right now. Wee, wee, there's a secret. Ah, just opening the door again, that's cool. Good to know that there can be keys like this too, or keys like in trapdoors or however you want to call them. Puker. Nice. They're not puking all the time, but I still can't see a pattern how to really attack them without getting puked at. Oh, this is a f fast spawner, or what is it? No, it's just on a higher level, okay. I was just thinking it's uh, it's looking a bit different, but maybe that's just because of the level. Oh, that's a puker, and I was just standing there. Sometimes I'm a bit of an idiot. Okay, little spawner. Wanna fight? Can have a fight. Whoop 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 whoop. Do I do that? He exploded. I don't, don't, don't want to walk into his crap. So let's just head down here. And yes, this is uh, gonna connect everything. Crap. I hate those bats. So I'm just gonna run through this and see what's in here. Yes, there is another key. Uh, yeah, another key. At least I guess it's gonna be a key. The thing is... Why are we even... Oh, oh, we can go through this. Okay, I was just gonna say, why can't we even move through this? It's not a key, it's a celestial token, which is even more awesome. Um, I would like to use the key up here first, though. So let's head back through this whole bad cave. Um... Whoa, this time it really is a bad cave. I hate those sonar thingies that they are using. Ooh, we didn't even break his armor. Now we did. Come on, a crit would be awesome. No! Ah! Yeah, Noah was awesome too. No, I was awesome too. Hmm. My jokes are so amazing. Is it time for a joke break? No, it's too early, isn't it? Is it? Not so sure. No, let's wait a bit. Um, so we can move back here. Whee! And 
now we are able to unlock this door with our key. Move through it. Oh my god, what is happening? <clears throat> oh, I obviously see what's happening. <clears throat> my bad. And if we punch this... Oh no, it's not turning by punching. Oh, we can just move it. Okay. Mm -hmm, this is what I wanted to see. This down here. And like this. We did it. We got a key. Right. Come on, honey. Come on. Nice one. Okay. Let's be fast. And this way we can even go up here and not only get the key, which means that we can get something else in here, which is... Dumbbells, increased sword attack power. That sounds pretty amazing. We need those because instead of having 10% either attack, that's not really bringing anything. Oh, it's here. No. Oh, it's for the arm. It's not for the sword. Okay, 9% attack power on top. That's pretty cool. 9% sounds like nothing, but it is a lot in this game. I, I'm pretty sure of it. Uh, we might get get better bonuses later in the game, of course, uh, when we've upgraded kind of everything. Uh, but for now, this is a pretty great bonus. And I think just for having this bonus, um, it would be really awesome if we could... Yeah, yes, let's use this. Uh, if we could actually keep our stickers. But I think we're still not able to keep them. And now I remember why we're doing so much damage, because uh, we have the rule that we are doing double damage, or at least more physical damage. I forgot about that. Do we have enough? Yes, we have enough of the floppy disks. That's awesome, because we can uh, finish two quests now, if we are able to get back to our quest givers, if they are called that, um, before we have to fight more Mo, which might be a tough call. Okay, so now the upper or the lower door, let's go for the lower one first. The thing's automatically aiming at our enemies, isn't it? It is. For some reason. But this way I'm almost not able to hit anything. I should probably deal with the spawner first. Come on, he's gonna survive. Oh crap, the red one survived. Okay, anyway, let's try this again. Come on. And shot. It's okay like this. I can work with it. No, no, no. Ah, of course I fell down. No, I, I don't want to try that. It's too dangerous and I'm just gonna hurt myself. It's not worth it. Talking about not being worth it. Let's light up those bastards. Or let's not, because this guy doesn't want to. Yeah, a crit would have been awesome, but still, as long as he's dead, I'm happy. Whew, the game is beginning to be more and more fun now that something starts happening and it's not just walking around and dying all the time. I know that that was my fault, no offense to the game with that. I just had to get used to the mechanics and everything. Oh crap, it's a chest! 
Oberklaw. Let's uh, test that. Just for fun. But whenever you do something awesome, there needs to be something similar happening. Uh, wait a second. Hold down X in your third strike to charge a powerful blow. I think X is... Yeah, okay, just my main attack weapon, which is W for me. Okay, so W, 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 hey! Okay, it's stronger that way, but we should only use it when the enemy is not attacking us in that same moment. Um, what I wanted to say is, whenever there's something good happening, there should also be something bad happening. Like, like for example, the bad pun. So how about a little joke break right now? Yay! Time for a joke break! This is a story about a Spanish magician who managed to vanish without a trace. He said, I will vanish after counting to three. He said, un, dos. And then he just vanished without a trace. This is the end of joke deck. <sighs> this was so awesome. So awesome, I hate that gun. Okay, let's move back here. Wee, 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 wee. There was no teleporter and there was there? No, there wasn't. Um, also, we kind of wasted our last key on that door. Uh, is that on purpose? Did we do it the wrong way now? I mean, it could be possible, but why would they do it like this? If there's no other chance to get anywhere. Yeah, I can port myself back to the beginning of the dungeon, but that doesn't help us either. Um, I'm sorry, but did we miss a key or is the game just trolling us? Or is it just buggy? I mean, it's it's an alpha version. It's it's The game just came out and it's not that finished, I guess. Is it? Well, I'm really not as informed as I should be. Uh, but what the crap, man? Okay, let's kill the spawner first and then deal with uh, my mental issues. Yeah, I did the same mistake again. Hello, little spawner. Okay. Going up here is no option. We came here the other time uh, from above that worked but that doesn't help us we need a key for this one but where could we get another key we opened this one this one this one and this one so all the chests maybe we really missed one let's just try thank you if we can find another key Ching. Thing. Like this, okay. Oh, we can actually destroy uh, those skulls while rolling around. Pretty cool. Whee! Yeah, obviously there's a red guy again just to annoy us. I'm gonna ignore that guy. Nothing that we missed over here. Next room. It has to be somewhere in this area, right? There's one place to fall down. Looks like it's on purpose, but why would we want to fall down? I don't I don't think that we should do this, but let's try it anyway. Could have worked. But now at least uh, we have a reason to eat a hot dog. And I like reasons for eating hot dogs. It was a bomb inside the grass. How lovely. Okay, we can press these buttons and stuff, but they only open this door, and we did that before. That was a pretty great rhyme. Um, I know what we didn't do. We didn't do this. 
And this is the solution. That's what the rats are there for. And this is the, the last key. This is not the last key! <clears throat> are they serious? I was so sure that this was where we missed the key. Crap! Okay, let's go further up here then. Yeah, whatever. Um, we looted this one. There's nothing to do here. All of the torches were burning. Yeah, of course. Hurt me. It's, it's okay. You are just rats, guys. Um, nothing to do. What the hell did we miss? We do joke break? Yes, we did. Okay, puking guy. That's what I wanted to see. Actually, I wanted to try the bear claw thing, uh, but he was too close, so I didn't want to charge it up too long. Ooh. Like this. There's nothing to do here either. It looks a bit like a maze, but it isn't really a maze. So we can just go up here. It says we need a key for this door, but we put it in already, so we don't need a key for this door. And if we move through it... We're back in this room. Which we obviously remember, there were... There were two riddles to solve here, and we did both of them. Then we could move up, and we got this chest, and that's it. Nothing else to do here. What kind of crap is this? We are missing a key, but we've been to through every room twice now. Well, not every room, there are some missing, and I'm going to go through them, those on the right. But I don't think there was a key anywhere here. I don't really feel like slashing through everything. The ground looks different here. Ouch, and that hurt. Love hurts. That was nice. Ah! Close call. Mm. Oh, that's the strong spawner again, yeah, of course. He disappeared. Sorry, I'm just uh, a bit focused right now. Sorry for not talking that much. I'm focused and I'm still wondering what I did wrong. Hey, buddy, wanna die in a fire? No problem. What? Okay, he's gonna die. Okay, with this torch, but we can't shoot it at anything that needs to burn, right? I mean, we can try it, just uh, moving like this, but there's nothing that can be hit, right? Nope, nothing here. We pressed that button, of course, that opened the door. This is the only thing we didn't do, killing every enemy in this room, but why would that trigger a key to fall down? I mean, it's just a normal room. Nothing special about it, no, not, no dead end, nor does it have any hidden... I don't know, hidden departments or riddles or anything. Everything's dead and nothing happens, so... Nothing here to do. I'm starting to hate this dungeon. It, it was fun, but now it's just annoying me. Yeah, nothing to do here. We opened that treasure chest. That's it in this room. I can't get through this. The only place I can look again is of course, ouch, inside, 
this room on the right, but why would there be anything there? I mean, that's where we first noticed that we were missing a key. So we would have probably also noticed if there was a key. Just a quick guess. This dungeon is really starting to annoy me. Nothing here. No riddle to solve. Just something to burn down. Nope, it's not working. And I'm kind of sick of this dungeon, so I'm moving out of it. Um, I really hoped that we would be able to do the whole dungeon, but maybe there is no goal in that dungeon to do something special or anything. Maybe we just had to try to get as far as possible and we failed and if we opened another door first we would have gotten another key. Who the hell knows? The thing I do know is that I'm yawning and also that we completed our first quest and I want to know what exactly is gonna happen now because we're gonna move back to town and we got enough floppy disks to actually receive some sort of quest reward. I'm louder than the kazoo again, and I want to apologize for that. Yeah, she was living in this house, if I'm remembering it correctly. Yes, that's her. Marvelous, as promised, here's your reward. Thanks again, now prepare the spell. We got another celestial token. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so what exactly is the plan now? That's still a pretty great question. Um, since the enemy dungeon thingies are leveling up with us, apparently, um, we might as well just try to defeat our new favorite dungeon again, um, the one that we're supposed to defeat, the main quest dungeon. I guess it's leveling up with us as well, so why not try it? We have 12 more hours. If we are lucky, we can make it to the dungeon within 12 hours. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we actually have a timer up there. That's cool. Not stressful at all. I still don't get what to do with that thing. That's something I should worry about the next time, right? Not in this life. But maybe when we're not a chick anymore. But something else instead. Where do we need to move? Just wait, straight up? Let's just move straight up, should be easier. But I think straight up is uh, the wall once again, right? Of course it is, and we can destroy it from this side of the wall. So let's just move to the other side of the wall and then not destroy it. What is this thing? Besides, easy to kill. Oh, it's not dead. Or are the enemies just all getting stronger because we're close to the end? I don't think so, but are they? I mean, there are a lot of enemies I haven't seen before over here. 
Not sure if it is because we're so far away from home or because it's so close to the final showdown. Anyway, let's move to the left here. And probably our frame rate's gonna be less sucky then. I said probably. It says level 4 now. Ballers. Whatever. It actually says level 4 now, so. Even the main dungeons are leveling up with us? That's pretty annoying. Just saying. What the hell? I don't really get the system behind this game. I thought it would be easier because we, uh, well, we we still got something from our ancestors. But apparently it's not because the enemies are getting stronger too. I'm confused. Yeah, it looks different than last time. But why? Okay, let's see, what are the rules? Parasite. Okay, whenever we are taking damage, we are uh, losing toy power too. Um, it's a toy dungeon. I'm sorry, I have to move out again because isn't this the toy dungeon we should be doing? Is this another one? This is the one we should be doing. I really don't get it. Why the hell, if this is the, the toy dungeon we should be doing, so the main quest thingy, why on earth does it look different than last time? And does that mean we have to do everything again? Parasite. Hmm. Whoa. Can we? Yes, that's working, okay. Might be useful for the end boss, who knows. By the way, talking about the end boss. This looks like it should look. Um, talking about the end boss, we should probably eat two cookies now. How do we get to the end boss? And, oh god, please no. First, this level is different than last time. Which sort of sucks. Wow. Second of all, please tell me. What on earth? Different enemies. Different enemies. What did I do wrong the last time? Why do I need new enemies, huh? No oh, crap, I wanted to light him on fire. Ah! Guys, pretty annoying. It's probably not gonna be the last one we see. Um, I didn't want to make this episode extra long, but if you really need to do the whole dungeon again, although we're still the same guys. Whoa! This, this is annoying. Like in. Extremely annoying. Like in, there's no reason why we have to do this again. Really no reason. Oh, my bad. Uh, chaka, chaka, chaka. And there, oh, he's looking different this time too. Yeah, thank you so much.
Yes, that's a small key. Da -da 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 -da. We're moving back to the beginning of the dungeon. So the dungeon looks different. That's totally fine with me. We have to do everything again in this dungeon. Totally fine with me. But we are still the same people. There have not been a hundred years in between two entries or whatever. We've been here, I don't know, an hour ago. There's no reason that the game is screwing with us right now. It is just for fun. At least this riddle stays the same. Everything else wouldn't make sense after all, but still, I'm glad it did. Because you never know, right? Okay, I'm, I'm concentrated, that's why I'm not talking. Because I need to do this again <clears throat> in order to open the door shoot this and go through the door and yes this episode is this long because i don't want to do another episode where i do this dungeon again the big key and you might have imagined it i'm not at all interested in doing this again so I'm not going to unlock every little door, like going over here and doing all this stuff that was over there. I'm just going to go to the boss fight now and hopefully survive it. The sound is making me crazy. Is that some sort of robot or just something that should be funny? I oh, know my friend is gonna be alive again too. Of course he is. Come on down, buddy. Come on down. Come on down. No! Bad guy again. Okay, that was pretty cool. Wait, is this. Ah, this is one of those guys. Okay, I don't mind then. I thought it was maybe some sort of key that I should have known about. Yeah, as long as you think you're funny. I'm gonna leave though. Uh, is this part gonna be the same than last time? No! It's gonna be easier this time. Cool. Okay, wait a second. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. Awesome! I have to put it down here. I have to shoot this, or press it. And there are these things being shot at me. But I knew what was gonna happen, so it was quite easy. Not to happen, uh, or to, or to uh, escape it. But now we have to defeat ourselves, in a way. Or at least another sword. Fallen sword level 4. Okay. At least it's still level 4, although we now need to be level 5 in order to enter this dungeon. Okay. Quick heal because he's just slaying us like, I don't know, something that you slay. But we can also just attack him. Hopefully defeat him. Let's use another donut just to be sure. And now kill that bitch. And that bastard died too. Yeah! So we finally finished our first dungeon. And this time for real and Puku still looks like shit. Yes, that was a fallen sword. If that's the question he was gonna ask. Yep, pretty sure of it. And we got a laser ring. Hmm. Press E to use. And we are immediately ported out of there. Into the town hall maybe? Or just to the, to the entrance of the dungeon? Or nowhere? 
entrance of the dungeon it is. Oh, that one, huh? That brings back some memories. Yes, tell me about them. Okay, we have no time for that, of course. We gotta use this toy to open the way to the anchor. I've marked on your map the place the old guy said it would be. Let's go. I just hope that we still have this toy when we are living the next time. I want to try this thing, um, but let's use the kazoo now. Do I want to go to town? Let me see. Let me check the map again. I could go two steps above the town. This is where we want to do. Uh, want to be. Um, this is where the anchor is, so maybe we should go there or we will die there, but we just had a boss fight. Wait, zoom music. And there's one of those uh, extra loot thing guys. And we accidentally critted him, which means we have another orb. I also hope we don't lose our orbs when we die. Ah, okay, we need to be level 5 for this. So, not a chance right now. Ooh, this laser stuff it looks pretty awesome. Um, we might have some use for that later. Um, for now, let's head back to town. Because I want to see... Da -da. Okay. <laughs> I want to see if there's anything we can do with this new toy, if we can upgrade it in the toy store, for example. Yep, yeah. wrong. E. But I don't think that's gonna be possible. Not so. Sorry. Nope, he doesn't have any new toys for us. Thank you. Okay, we could, could go to the store, but that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, we could buy some hot dogs or stuff like that, but that wouldn't make any sense either. We do have a sticker pack. Or we could just go to the town hall. Maybe. Ah, frame rate, okay. I was wondering why it was so slow. But of course, it's the fl frame rate again, so let's just do a barrel roll. A slow mo barrel roll. Uh, the sticker shack. Oh, the hot dog guy isn't even there. Apparently, uh, he doesn't like rain or night or something. I don't know. Oh, my bad. Buy stickers. No, 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 no. Uh, I could buy some stickers. Wow, crazy. Um, I'll find more stuff. A higher drop rate, that's pretty cool. Do we have a slot for that left? The question is, do we maybe only lose the equipped stickers and the other ones stay with us for our afterlife? Or do we get a box later where we can store them or nothing? Let's at least try to find the town hall. It's not marked on the map, is it? No. Oh, this guy has a quest for us? No, he just has a quest. What's his problem? Here, take this. A sticker swap. Okay, I want to swap this one. And he gave me something else. Okay. Cool. What the hell, man? What did just happen? Let's move into the ouch town hall. Maybe there's something we can do. Oh, there is something here. Ah, it's just the diary that we found. Nothing else to do here. What do you have to say about that? Oh, or you too.
Ah, I haven't been here. Yes, I haven't been here with this char yet, so obviously they are kind of confused. So he marked another thing on the map, which is where we actually should go. What should I do next? Need to face the dungeon housing the anchor. Mm. Okay, there's nothing else he's trying to tell us, so... Interesting. Now this thing is marked and the other one is not marked anymore. I am kind of confused, but we have five more celestial tokens. This can almost give us a crap load more time. Can we go there? Because this is where the, the whale is. Can we use... No, we can't use this inside. Let's try to read what's uh, on this sword statue. Nothing. Okay. Okay, we can read, read the paintings or whatever they are, but that's not that useful either. Um, oh, it's pretty hard to decide what to do now, because we're really running out of time. Uh, what the heck? Oh, I misclicked. This is four, of course, this is three, three. Let's head over to this place again, and then we just need to move to the right, is that correct? Oh, this episode is so long. I'm sorry about that, but I'm not sorry. I, 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 I'm not sorry. Maybe it would be time for another joke break. It is time for joke break. What do you get when you cross dock with an antenna? You get a golden receiver. No more joke break now. Oh, wait a second. We need to. Go oh, this way, okay, that will take some time. Why don't we have these equipped anymore? Oh, this is quite great. No damage from projectiles, or is the puke from those puking zombies projectile damage? Hmm. Okay, anyway, we can't go into that anchor dungeon thingy. We can go... Do the upper right, I just don't know how. Okay, let's move past this right now. Oh, it's 5.30 in the morning. I think it's getting less dark outside, I think. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? was up? Did I miss that? Okay, we're screwed. Okay, so I guess there's nothing else to do but uh, feeding more mode. We've just got enough time to stock up in town before the final battle. Who knows, maybe some of the townsfolk will be feeling generous. Yeah, maybe. I think it doesn't matter how hard we will be stocking up, uh, there's no way we will defeat Marmo. She still has her two anchors which we can defeat. Or unlock or however that works. Um, and until that happened, there's not much we can do I guess. confused we can go inside here no okay I was wondering about that because there are no enemies here but the dungeon seemed to be unlocked I didn't want to complain okay anyway we, we are in town now and it looks kind of beautiful um, but there's nothing we can really do here we can talk to everybody 
Oh, we're actually getting... Stuff. Hmm. That's cool, we can just talk to these guys and they are giving us something. Regular sticker pack that we're not gonna open because I want to see if we maybe can uh, take those sticker packs up to our uh, with us to our next life. I don't want to talk to everybody though. Um, rolling while holding space leaves a trail of poison behind you, but uses TP. Crazy shit, man. Okay, we we did a quest for this girl, so maybe she's gonna give us something better. We could try it. Hey there, Delilah, Adeline, Lewis, what a, oh, okay. We don't have any hope, apparently. I def didn't even hope to have any hope, so it's not that much of a big surprise to me at all. Okay, here we go, Mormo's Palace. How could anybody not hate being here? Ooh, okay. Well, here we are. The gaudy puke joint that is Momo's palace. She's in there right now, waiting for you. Uh, no. She's slain a great number of swords over the years. People who were in the, your shoes now. And remember, if you fail, then everyone in Detroit is going to have to live under her roof for 100 years. Yeah, and we are dead. But we can delay no longer. Hold up that sword and let's bust that barrier down. Why do we have to do this now? Why is there even this time limit? Why does Mormo need to kill us? We could just... She, she could just... Whatever. Yeah. Shut up, Puku. We are so gonna die. I mean, there is no other choice than dying here, right? Whoa. We tried. Okay. Yes. Please, explain to me why there's this kazoo. Okay, all of Marmo's Marmo anchors are still active. Yes. No. We don't know what we're doing. But what does this thing do? Why does it even exist? Not like we could use our kazoo in here. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna use this thing though. The ring. Um, it might help us in the fight if we're gonna survive longer than just a second. Oh, right, we have to get to her first. Oh, that's what ether damage does. Okay, we can destroy it. I get it now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop annoying me, all of you. Level 8, by the way. This is some pretty hardcore stuff, I didn't really expect this. Uh, two ways to go, let's just go to the right first. This episode is gonna be longer than an hour, but we're gonna die at the end, at least that's something we know. Oh, another fallen sword here. Oh, it's just being revived. Oh, we have to defeat that bitch, okay. And we are dead already. Um, yeah, it might be useful to, uh, I don't know, defeat the anchors? Okay. Anyway, the sword fell. The last thing I want to do before we end this episode, yes, we finally will end this episode, is I want to um, pick up the sword and see what we kept. And we are a girl with an ugly haircut. That's all I ever dreamed of. I'm crying right now. No, no, seriously. Haircut, still terrible. But on the outside, we are not a bird anymore. 
So, um, as always in life, there are ups and downs. And also upsides and downsides to everything. So, yes, of course, blah 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 blah, we're gonna move to the graveyard, bitch. Without any rolling abilities, without any punching or picking stuff up abilities, what is this? Nobody knows. But at least we walked through it. Just like that well thingy. I hope it's a dungeon and I want to do it. Uh, anyway. Yes, shut up, Puku. As always. And let us pick up this sword. Oh, wait. Oh, oh my goodness. What the hell is that? Nope, 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 nope. I'm so out of here. Bye. Oh. That didn't work. Okay, 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 okay. I can't take this seriously, but still. As you take the sword from the grave, you feel a mystic power coursing through your veins and putting an a really terrible outfit on your body. And being the strength of your forebearers, not the outfit, but the, the power. You have become the sword of Ditto. Once again, and the ugliest one so far. Whew, okay. For the most important part now. We did not keep the ring. We did not keep any stickers. Wow. World level 4, Ether level 5, base level 4, day 0, era 7, yes. Time 6, 7. Anchor is 0 of 2, sword power plus 0. We're almost level 5, but that is no good either. Wow. I hope next time we will be able to actually do something that will help us in our fight against Mormo. What is quite obvious is that uh, we did do some stuff better this time, so um, we can do more stuff before we die now. Uh, and the, the lifetimes are getting longer too. But still, the game will need some time before we're able to beat it. Anyway, thanks um, well, for tuning in and for watching 50 minutes of me talking while doing stuff that is still quite confusing to me. I don't want to know how it's to you. Maybe you've played this game yourself and are just wondering why I'm so stupid, because I don't know why I'm so stupid. I hope you tune in next time again. And until then, of course, have a great day, a great morning, great evening, and an awesome night, depending on what time it is when you're watching this video. So until next time, bye everybody. Mod is green, small, heavy, and has three white points. I don't know. Hey everybody, once again, and thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Sword of Ditto. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below, a subscription, or to just comment down below. I'd always love to read your comments. As I said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you tune in next time again. And until then, obviously, have a great day, great morning, great evening, and an awesome night, depending on what time it is when you're watching this video. Until then, bye everybody.